Hi, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I've been blowing through the money like you're blowing trees. I've been on a French de la vie. I'm drinking my boba. Hi, how are ya? It's been a minute. Welcome to the channel. My name is Imani. Grab a snack, grab a little coffee, a little drinkity drink, and let's just get into the video. So lately, I've really been into my skincare grind. I struggling with massive breakouts throughout all of last semester of college, my last semester of college. And I came home and my mom was like, what is going on with your skin? Because I, I just have acne prone skin. It's genetic, my mom did, I do, so. It's just something that I have to live with and deal with. I'm trying to figure out ways to solve my problems without having to break the bank totally, even though I probably have already broken the bank with my skin. So I've cultivated a little list of things you probably didn't know that you should be doing with your skin and implementing into your skincare regimen. And take these things with a grain of salt. Just know you can't copy and paste all the information that you hear on the internet definitely seek out like guidance and professionals and people working with you for your skin type and your experiences that's just my little disclaimer that i am not a licensed dermatologist i'm not an esthetician i'm not a skin expert i am just a girl that's chronically online and kind of knows the tea about what you should be doing with your skin so so fact number one well this is not really fact like i said take everything with a grain of salt this is a list that i've compiled based off of the evidence that i've experienced with my own skin like i said take it with a grain of salt because there's some people on tiktok that kind of come for me when i say like things and they're like well i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that and i'm like girl i didn't say you didn't i didn't say you shouldn't do that you should do what's best for you at the end of the day so the first thing that I've noticed is that moisturizer is actually really beneficial for both oily and dry skin. I was kind of on that train of like, I have really oily skin, I shouldn't be putting more like, you know, moisturizer and oils onto my skin because it's going to make me even more oily. But in reality, not putting moisturizer on your skin creates more oil because your body is literally producing more oil because it's dry the fact that like oily skin is actually just dry skin and it's just the symptoms of dry skin show up differently for everybody when i figured that out for myself my mind was blown because oily skin combination skin dry skin those are all labels that i feel like have been marketed to us to sell specific products but in reality like if your skin eyes itchy if your skin is really oily it's because your body one you may have a hormonal imbalance right because of the the glands that are overproducing oils are overproducing meaning that it's not a balanced amount two your skin is so dry that your body is in like overdrive trying to moisture it itself with its own you know tools so what I've noticed is that when I keep my skin really hydrated and moisturized, I actually am the least oily. Like my skin is the least oily. I have really nice glowy skin. It's supple. My makeup sits well. So definitely prioritize hydration and moisture over oils. Oils don't really moisturize. They just kind of sit there and give you this like shine. But in reality, you may still have dry skin because it's not hydrating the skin. Wearing sunscreen wearing sunscreen is important i know y'all gonna come for me like girl we're black like why should we do this listen and if you're not black listen okay you need to wear sunscreen that okay let me finish because a lot of the sunscreen that's sold in the market don't have really great products and don't have great ingredients for our skin and for our health so definitely research that but all in all wearing something that's protecting your skin from the UV rays of our beloved sun <laughs> is important, especially if you have problematic skin, like whether it's hyperpigmentation, irritation, acne, you need to wear things that protect your skin because your skin is in a vulnerable state. The sun is hot, okay? Hot. And it's literally cooking you, like baking you, okay? Let me put this in perspective, okay? Imagine you have a cupcake that's literally swollen at the top okay it's so hot the cupcake's so hot and it's swollen at the top and let's say you put filling in it let's say you put strawberry filling in this cupcake and it's so hot right and obviously if you poke it it'll pop imagine you take that right and you put it in a microwave 
and warm it up. It's gonna pop. So if you have a pimple sitting out in the sun for too long, like I'm gonna stress this because there's another twist to this which may sound contradictory, but like if you're gonna be in the sun, have sun protection, whether it's sunscreen, an umbrella, like something that's going to cover the vulnerable parts of your skin. Especially if you're using active ingredients like salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, retinol, you need to be using sunscreen. You need to be using sunscreen. Skin cycling changed the game for me. Skin cycling, in simple terms, is just a, it's actually a term that was coined by a dermatologist. So Dr. Whitney Bao, I think that's her name, she coined the term skin cycling. She is a dermatologist and according to her, cl the classic skin cycling routine consists of four night schedules. I have three, like I said, you take some, you leave some, you kind of have to eat the meat, chew, spit out the bones. Skin cycling is basically a, think of a cycle, any type of cycle, right? It's gonna repeat itself, right? So when you start off with your skincare, you have to designate different days for different ingredients to get the optimal results needed. Little goes a very long way, especially when it comes to our skin. Like we take our skin, like our we play our skin all the time because we think our skin isn't listening to us, isn't reacting to us. When it's, sh when it's literally reacting and listening all the time, it's just we ignore our cues. So it's really important to first of all, know your skin, know your body, know how it's gonna react to things. So skin cycling is something that I've started doing in the recent couple of weeks. Yes, it's been like two months since I've started skin cycling seriously. My skin cycling, cycling night looks like the first night, it's uh, exfoliating night. The second night is retinol night, and then the third night is repair and hydrate night. Night one, I love to exfoliate. Exfoliating is that girl. Once I've started consistently exfoliating my skin, I've seen a huge difference, even in the way the products are absorbed into my skin, the way my skin looks. It's just really important to get all the dead skin cells off of your skin before like putting a bunch of products that aren't seeping deeply into your pores. The two exfoliants that I super, 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 super recommend, like I said, do your research first because I'm not licensed anything. <laughs> the exfoliants that I like to use is the Paula's Choice and the Ordinary. And you're probably asking, what's the difference? Why, why, why? I got you. This one's very strong. She is very strong. I even use her on like my inner thighs, like places where I kind of have discoloration and like scars. I like to use this not really on my face as much. I use this on my face when my dark marks were really, really, really bad. But now my skin has cleared up a lot and a lot of the dead skin cells have come off. So I don't really need to put this on my skin. Well, on my face, I use this on my armpits. I use this on my elbows, my knees. Just all the, you know, the, the parts, the parts. It gets the job done. And I use this on exfoliating night because I also skin cycle on my body too. Because we forget, skin is everywhere. We can't just focus on one area. Now, Miss Paula. Miss Paula, if you are watching this, thank you. I started using this and it has dramatically changed my skin. And... I did a patch test because I was really scared because a lot of people were saying how it broke them out and it's too strong. No, this is the perfect, this is perfect for me. And I will be restocking this. I will be repurchasing. Like I am now a stan of this product. It smells really bad, but it works so good that it doesn't even matter at this point. This is a BHA liquid exfoliant. It's salicylic acid. It unclogs the pores. Like I'm telling you, Tonight, like today is day one for me, it's Sunday, so I'm exfoliating tonight and I already did my skincare routine. When I tell you that the next morning you will have absolutely no pores, it's actually kind of scary because I'm so like, I'm so like critical of like people saying, oh, like, this product is like a diehard product because you know how people just like, like to lie and like, whatever, but no, this really works really well um, for all my melanated folks out there. This works really well on hyperpigmentation. Like I'm telling you, like I started seeing results within like two weeks. Like literally, it was like crazy. Even my my friends were like, "What?" Like my boyfriend's like, "Your skin looks so radiant." Every time I'm on Facetime with them, like my skin has changed dramatically, and I genuinely think it's due to two things: this and tretinoin. Super important to kind of 
think of it as like a reset okay you're resetting your canvas so you're exfoliating you're taking all the dead skin cells off all the garbage off out it's time to penetrate the skin with skincare products that are clean that are easy and work that's kind of like the motto here clean easy works eating night super important second night I call this retinol night tretinoa night my dermatologist put me the frick on so on that I can't even turn it off anymore well, I just talk about tretinoin all the time if you follow me on TikTok that's all I talk about that's all I preach about that's all I, I mention the tretinoin is a retinol it's a it's like pure retinol very strong the most strong out there like on the market and you can only get it prescribed to you that's how strong it is and it comes in I believe three dosages the 0 0.05 one so She's not that strong, but she's still very strong. It's a really long time for it to work though. I'm currently like month two now, and I think I can confidently say I'm finally out of the purging process because when I first started it, I had breakouts all over my, like my cheeks and my forehead, and I was like, what is going on? I don't break out on my forehead. I said the process, I kept watching videos of people saying to trust the process, so I trusted the process, and I can confidently say that if you are using it correctly, um, it's going to work. Gotta use it right though. So how I use tretinoin, I either usually use the sandwich method, which is serum, tretinoin, moisturizer, or I take it and put it with the moisturizer and put it all over my skin and let it just kind of soak into the skin. And your skin just really, really just absorbs things, especially if it has a clear canvas, which is why exfoliating is really important. And when it comes to retinol, you really need to make sure that you are hydrating and moisturizing your skin. It will dry your skin out. I didn't experience the flaking or like the super, super dry skin just because I moisturize my skin like crazy. My skin is just always moisturized. I didn't get to experience those negative side effects. Never just put retinol on your face unless like I personally wouldn't recommend just putting it on your skin and letting it like I think having something that's balancing it out is really important and I noticed that it changed myself like I think maybe I was purging more than I really had to because I started off just putting retinol on my skin first but when I do the sandwich method or mix it with my moisturizer I notice that my skin really accepts it better night three is hydrate repair Bob the builder day like that is the day where you are basically babying your face always start off with a gentle cleanser always make sure that you are especially if you wear makeup and SPF like obviously you're wearing SPF because we already established that you're gonna want to do a double cleansing because double cleansing really helps get rid of all the bacteria and the gunk that just kind of piles up on your face throughout the day are you ever worried about like over cleansing drying your skin out too much no not really I don't use harsh um, ingredients um, in the days I do use harsh ingredients it's probably because either one like I'm using my panoxyl or two, I'm using like my CeraVe SA cleanser, which I don't really use as much anymore. Once I've switched over to using a gentle cleanser in combination with like a like an oil cleanser, I've noticed that my skin has been really happy. So experiment with what products work for you. But yeah, make sure that you are using day three to your advantage. Some of my favorite products that I like to use during day three, my snail mucin warning. If you are allergic to dust mites or if you're allergic to like shellfish, be careful. So definitely do a patch test and make sure that you're not just gonna like buy it and just put it all over your skin and then wake up tomorrow like what the heck happened. Niacinamide really helps with your skin barrier. It basically acts kind of as like, think of like a tool that is like building something. This helps build and repair that skin barrier because your skin barrier is really important. And if you have a damaged skin barrier, you may experience more breakouts or more issues and then you'll probably be like, oh well, the products just aren't working but in reality you're not letting your skin like repair just like when you work out you have to rest take rest days consider this your skincare rest day i've learned that less is more throughout all the days that i'm doing my skincare routine i never use more than five products now because i noticed that whenever i'm like just getting products that i see go viral and using them and using them and using them you kind of don't even get to keep track of like what is like causing certain issues on your skin isn't good for your skin so i think sticking to like holy grails that work for you and remaining consistent in those i think will change the game a lot i noticed that once i just stopped putting so much stuff on my face my skin just thanked me a win-win you know a win is a win you spend less money because you just have your five six holy grail products and it works so it's like 
what what else do you need you know what i mean another thing on my list of things that you really need to know about your skincare and your skin in general skin health starts on the inside no matter how many products you get as long as you are not treating the inside of your body well it's going to show on the outside our bodies are machines you need to make sure that like yeah it sounds annoying when they're like drink your water but no make sure you are drinking the amount of water you need to drink daily and that looks different for everybody making sure you're getting enough water is very essential for your skin because water literally hydrates you from the inside and out so if you're dehydrated it's going to show up in your skin another thing is sleeping sleeping is what I need to work on I can't sit here and act like I am the sleep goddess but sleeping is so important for your body brain health your your physical health everything so with if you're not getting enough sleep every day you're not letting your body rest and you're not letting your body repair itself think about it if you have acne and if you have problematic skin sleeping is the critical time where your body is literally getting rid of all the toxic cells and waste in your body and getting rid of all that inflammation so if you're not letting your body have that time where it's healing itself your skin isn't going to get better and it's going to take longer to see results combination of like doing all these things like skin cycling and drinking water you need to make sure that you're also sleeping because that's when our body's in like full healing mode so just 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 thought before I end the video I kind of wanted to talk about the morning aspect of skin cycling because I don't think I mentioned that in the morning you just want to stick to a nice gentle cleanser um, a vitamin C serum or a serum that makes your skin glow you want to make sure you're using SPF and moisturizer and that's really all you need you don't need to do all the extra fancy schmancy things unless you obviously want to like in the mornings I do my gua sha routine and I do my gua sha routine after I've put like my vitamin C oil on my skin. This is kind of a video that I just dedicated to answering all the questions because I made a skin cycling video on TikTok that kind of went crazy and people had a lot of questions. So this is kind of for y'all, for the questionnaire people. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're literally almost at a thousand subscribers. We're at 800 and I'm super excited. Definitely like sitting and talking about skincare. So definitely give me more questions. Give me more things. Feed me. I'm hung. I'm starved. Like y'all may think that I starved you, but I'm starved. Know what y'all think? And I will see you guys later. I'm actually going on vacation, so by the time you guys see this video, I will probably already be in Florida, also making content there. So super excited, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. The comment section be like, please don't disrespect David anymore. That's one more thing, cause like my sister really be disrespecting me, and I don't like that. Well, cause I love my sister, and I love and he's respect a, her a he's, lot. He's, He's and, and make sure y'all like, subscribe, do all that good stuff.